Hello, in this presentation, we will set up the undeposited funds account in QuickBooks Online. Here we are on the QuickBooks Online dashboard. We will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. We're going to be setting up an undeposited funds account because we're going to be creating invoices and sales receipts. The idea of the undeposited funds account is that we're going to get deposits from customers. We're going to group those deposits together and then we're going to deposit those in the bank all at one time and thereby put the deposit in the bank as a grouping and group it in the same format that we will see on the bank uh, statement. It's going to be really important and really helpful when we want to check to see if a deposit has cleared and when we want to reconcile the bank account. So the idea once again is to not record every time we receive cash directly into the bank but to wait until the end of the day or whenever we actually go to the bank and then deposit that information into the bank all in one lump sum and match that lump sum in our system to what it will be recorded in the bank and therefore be able to uh, check our amounts to the bank much more easily for example in the form of a bank reconciliation so we're going to set up an account in order to do that and then later we'll create invoices and sales receipts so we're going to go to the items down here will be in accounting we're looking for the chart of accounts so we're going to go up to the chart of accounts will be the first tab here's our chart of accounts typically going to be in order by type assets liability equity income and expense more specifically bank accounts then accounts receivable then the current asset accounts other asset accounts fixed asset accounts then the liabilities and so on and so forth so we're going to add another account it's going to be an other asset account and it's going to be just a holding account for our cash that we have or other receipts checks that we have received that we have not yet gone to the bank and deposited so in order to do that we're going to say new up top we want to have a new account and we're going to say that this account is going to be the account type of an other current asset we want to make it an other current asset type of account then the detail account there's actually a detail account for undeposited funds and that will help us to track this information so we're going to go down and look for this undeposited funds account that'll help us to um, you know track and group the information as we uh, record these deposits into the bank It'll give us the default name as undeposited funds. That's typically what most QuickBooks users would be used to. So that one will work. I'm going to keep everything else the same. It's not a subcategory. We don't need any other description. We will save and close that. And then as we enter sales receipts and uh, invoices, we're going or receipts of payments from invoices, we will then be recording this into the undeposited funds account and then using this account then to uh, go into the bank so it's zero right now it will increase whenever we get payments from customers either from sales receipts or receipt of payment from invoices that we had in the past and then it'll go back to zero once we take that money and put it back in the bank record the deposit into the bank we'll see that in future presentations